Here's your farm and ranch report from the Montana Ag Network. Welcome back for today's farm and ranch news. On National Ag Day this week, the Montana Grain Growers, Stock Growers, and Farm Bureau hosted Taiwan's Director General and Vice Consul for talks surrounding trade opportunities for Montana beef and grain producers. Montana Grain Growers immediate past president, Chester farmer Vince Matson was a part of the welcoming delegation in Helena this week. Their main goal was uh, Montana is trying to reopen uh, a Montana trade office that was in Taipei, uh, Taiwan, that was closed down during the Schweitzer governorship. There is legislation and progress being moved to reopen that office. So they were here uh, largely in support of that and would like to see trade relations prove and, and keep shipping Montana goods, uh, both beef and grain, uh, specifically to Taiwan. Taiwan is currently one of Montana's top five trading partners, mostly for agricultural products. In other headlines, our neighbors in South Dakota have confirmed a case of bovine tuberculosis in an infected cow that was initially identified in January by meat inspectors during a routine inspection at a Minnesota packing plant. This is the first case of bovine TB in South Dakota since 2017. By following animal disease traceability guidelines, records linked the cow to a Corson County beef herd within the Standing Rock Indian Reservation, which had additional animals confirmed as infected by recent laboratory testing. Officials from the state, USDA, and tribal governments are evaluating the situation. South Dakota State Veterinarian Dr. Dustin Odekoven stated that bovine TB is not currently a threat to food safety here in the U.S. and that necessary precautions are being taken to protect the health of South Dakota's and the nation's cattle industries. We'll be right back. 